thank you for logging on to Fan590.com. David Alter alongside Mark Masters of the National Post getting you ready for the Argos taking on the Montreal Alouettes 7.30 on Fan590.com Saturday night. And the big story is Anthony Calvillo. You know, he's been tremendous throughout his entire career and he's always a factor. But how much of a factor will he be in this game with the index finger that we've been hearing about? I guess explain that to us a little bit and how this may be a game changer. Yeah, Calvillo... Uh... You know, many consider the best quarterback in the league. Uh, dislocates uh, the index finger on his throwing hand near the end of last week's game against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Uh, he's never had this sort of injury in his career, so a lot of people are wondering how he's going to respond. Talking to Herb Sarkowski of the Montreal Gazette, he's been at the Alouettes practices all week, and he says Calvillo's looked fine. Uh, he's going to be wearing a little piece of tape to, to, to keep that finger in, in place, but he says he's going to be fine. Uh, the co coaching staff think he's going to be fine. The Argos don't seem convinced. They say you can't have suffer that type of injury to your throwing hand without you know suffering a little bit so you know when a quarterback is just hit off his game just a little bit that's a huge thing especially for a guy like Cavill who's known for his pinpoint passes so it'll be interesting to see how he plays uh, tomorrow night. Also uh, to further add to that point uh, Jim Barker mentioned that it is the uh, index finger on the throwing arm which is the most critical finger when it comes to releasing the ball which has a large part to do with the way the direction of the ball is going to go and the speed, uh, the velocity, which is speed as well, and all sorts of other goodness as well. But let's talk about the Argos now, and no no severe lineup changes, but when you look at the way they got dominated in Montreal, is there reason to believe that they have a fighting shot at this one? Yeah, of course. I mean, they were in the game uh, in Montreal uh, until halftime, uh, and in the second half, Montreal pulled away. They're playing at home now where they're undefeated this season. Uh, you know, Corey Boyd, that, that one kind of game that, I mean, the first week of the season, he was held under 100 yards, and then every other game except the game in Montreal, he has had more than 100 yards, so he feels probably deep down he's got something to prove against this team. And, and yeah, I think the Argos have, have a shot at home to keep this game close against Montreal, and as we've seen, if they are close in the fourth quarter, they tend to win the game, so we'll see what happens. Well, let's talk about discipline. Uh, the Argos got away from their entire game in that game in Montreal, and now... Uh, Will they learn from it? Because it seems like when they get undisciplined is when things seem to unravel. Yeah, I mean, they again, Montreal's too good of a team that if you play undisciplined, uh, you just you can kiss the game goodbye. So they're going to have to, you know, cut down on, on, on silly penalties and, and, and keep that focus that they've seemed to have late in games. They just don't get rattled. They can't get rattled against Montreal, and it's so easy to get rattled against the Alouettes because they do everything well. They do all the small things right, and it's so easy as an opposing player to just get frustrated and, and, and get out of your game. He's Mark Masters of the National Post. You can follow him on Twitter at Mark H. Masters. Uh, I'll be live tweeting the game from the sidelines, which I've never actually done before, so that should be interesting. You can follow me at OK Listen. The game on fan590.com Saturday night at 7.30. Thanks for logging on to Wait, fan one second. You didn't ask for our prediction. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's do that one then. Okay, final prediction. Final prediction. I like the Alouettes to win, but I think it will be a closer game than many expect. Okay, and no score in them involved in that? No score. No score. I think the I think the Argos are going to pull this one off, actually. Really? Okay. Yeah, so we're going to go against the grain for the uh, second straight home game that we've made predictions for this one. So, again, we mentioned you can follow Mark at Mark H. Masters. I'll be live tweeting on the sidelines at OKListen. Okay Game time, 7.30 Saturday night on Fan590.com.